Historic floods are impacting hundreds of people in the River Valley, and it could be days before we start to see any relief. KNWA Today's Caitlin Zollner live in Fort Smith, and Caitlin Governor Hutchinson will make a visit there today. Yeah, Chris, Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson set to be here in Fort Smith later today. He is going to hold a news conference right here on the Garrison Avenue Bridge. We're told he's going to talk about the impact of the flooding and what's next for the people who are dealing with this historic flooding event. I want to go ahead and show you just how severe the flooding in Fort Smith is. To put things in perspective, the Arkansas River once ended at that tree line. You can see it has completely taken over the riverfront amphitheater. We are talking about several feet of water here. The Arkansas River crested on Wednesday at just under 41 feet. That is the highest level in recorded history. But that's now in the past because the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says the river will likely crest again on Friday. And they tell us the river is expected to stay at this level for a couple of days, meaning it's going to be a while before these floodwaters recede. And even then, it will be a very slow process. So let's talk about resources available to flood victims. The American Red Cross has three shelters open across the state, one of those being here in Fort Smith. The other two are in Conway and Dardanelle. Central Mall, which is also here in Fort Smith, has a multi-agency resource center. You can find that center inside the old Sears store, again in Central Mall. There are also so many volunteers and organizations that have stepped in to help their neighbors. We've seen everything from people putting together sandbags to providing meals. It's been amazing to see this community come together in such a trying time to help one another. As you can imagine, this flooding event has forced several roads to close. If you find yourself confused about how to get around the area, the Arkansas Department of Transportation is offering help. A traveler information call center will be open to help you navigate around the flooded highways in this state. You can call or text the call center. It will be open daily from 7 in the morning until 7 at night. And speaking of getting around, I do want to let you know the Midland and I-540 bridges are open this morning. They were closed earlier this week due to the flooding, but the Arkansas Department of Transportation reopened them, saying the water level just did not get as high as expected. We did speak with the department, and as of now, there are no plans to close the bridges. Again, Governor Asa Hutchinson expected to be here in Fort Smith later today. That news conference will happen at 2 o'clock this afternoon on the Garrison Avenue Bridge. We will be there and provide you updates tonight on KNWA. Live in Fort Smith, Caitlin Zollner, KNWA Today, Northwest Arkansas News.